Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. All right, so we're here back playing Dismantle, and uh, yeah, I got some really cool things to uh, to get into this time. Uh, we need rubber, okay? And I did tell you the last time that we did need to... Oh, hello. That's true, we're just reloading the game. Huh. All right, so, and I did tell you that... Um, we're going to have to, like, need a machete to get rubber. But that's not exactly 100% true right off the bat. Aha. Take that. All right. So, um, if we kind of run back to... Uh, get rid of some of these guys here. I think if we run back this way... Let's see here. Now... <clears throat> the game I'm gonna go back to that first town that we were at so if we just follow the follow the road we'll be fine so we'll follow the road down yonder now the reason why I say follow the road oh, we can come up around this way right yeah um see here's tires and this is what I said you're gonna like need a machete for but um it's gonna tell you oh it's not the right not the right tool we'll see now we're back in the first town um back in the first town there are a few things here that uh, contain rubber in them and we're gonna get that oh that was that was bad there we go now you're thinking what in the first town would contain rubber yeah you know what that, that really bothered me for the longest time, too. And then I discovered that I see things right here. Now, I'm assuming there must be some kind of a rubber lining on the inside of them or something. But there's your first little bit of rubber. So these things contain rubber. God knows what the hell they are. I thought they were like electrical stuff, whatever. Anyways, um... But there, that's where you get your first little bit of rubber from. Um, this little area has quite a bit of it. Um, I think, anyways, you can scavenge quite a bit of that here. That's the whole thing about going back and forth in this game is because you can come back and get material that you weren't able to get the first time around. So our goal is to look for, I guess, all these uh, rubber things. Ah. Uh, uh, you should have been like a one hit. Totally messed that up. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, there was more of that stuff back here. Uh huh. Take that. Uh huh. Take that. Perfect. Now, if I open the gate, I think you can open the gate without the monsters there. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, yeah, that was the power strike thing. Let's run back to the beginning here. I believe the gate controls are on this thing here. We go like this. Open west gate. Uh, until the new one. Oh, really? Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. All right, so we get these little exclamation marks here, and uh, these kind of are cool little things. I think you get... Um, Get experience for them. So you got to kill five of these these uh, ex humans in sixty seconds for experience. It's pretty easy, I find. Ah. Oh. oh man. <laughs> there. I wasn't expecting another one to get involved. So you should be done throwing. No? Really? Better take that. My lord. Okay, so they made that a little bit more complicated. But you get extra experience for these little things. And they're usually hidden all over the map. And they're not bad. They give you a little bit extra experience. Investigation. Okay, so there's another question mark right here. Uh, find a map at the link tower, upgrade your backpack, level up. Oh, maybe we already did that? Look at that. Maybe we should get that automatically. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Didn't even notice that was there. 
free a thousand experience. All right, what else we got here? Oh, I'm now level six, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're gonna go back and have a little sit down here. Let's see, what we're gonna get vigorous, maximum hit points, plants, uh, grow faster and faster learner. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with the hit points because experience I'm not really worried about. You can gain experience by just about doing everything in this game. So killing enemies, destroying stuff, uh putting stuff inside your box here. Um so experience comes pretty oh here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're looking for. Right here. Awesome. All right, so now with that machete, oh, we can get to do fishing rod too. May as well craft up the fishing rod since we have the material, right? All right, look at that. Look at that. All right, the machete, ladies and gentlemen. Upgrade gear. Let's put that on here. Oh, we actually had enough to do the first one, right? We got enough to do the second one. That's wicked. All right, so we just need some more ceramics. Oh, my God. Okay. So, this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be absolutely awesome. So, let's go to our inventory here, right? I believe you can take this. I uh, can switch that out. And say, um, I don't want anything there. So, um, what is it there? There should be, a, there you go. Use the one key and you can go back and forth. <laughs> Let's go find us some tires. All right. So damage wise, um, I think it's about as good as the the machete, or not the machete, the, uh, the crowbar used to be a couple of stages ago. So we'll just keep our crowbar on until we find tires and then uh, we can do that. All right, so if we use our tire, what? Number 27. Okay, so we need the smaller tires then. Okay, let's find some smaller tires. So we can't use the bigger ones yet. We only do the smaller tires. Hmm. Interesting. So where did we see smaller tires? Did we see smaller tires? Oh, look there, there's more rubber right here. Awesome, awesome, I didn't see these on the way in. Machete. What do we got up here? Oh, we got a whole whack. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we hit rubber central. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. I accidentally threw a, a knife there, but that's fine. This is great. Perfect. All right, so now we can switch to our machete. Should be able to get that smaller one. There we go. Oh, I'm full up, huh? Okay. Get over here. Uh, put that back. Uh, enemies are unfortunately gonna come back, but let's upgrade. Uh, I want this one. So we'll upgrade our crowbar. Oh no, we need plastic still. <gasps> Okay, we'll find plastic. We'll find plastic. Okay, I'm not too worried. Uh, put that away. What's this here? Uh, invent a cooking pot. Cook any food. And craft throwing knives. Okay. Well, I just got to cook any food. So if I come to camp, shouldn't I be able to cook food? <clears throat> no. Not yet. Well, let's see if we can do something about cooking. 
Uh, tomato soup, you need just three tomatoes. So one, two, three, and then we can go cook. And then nice, delicious, steamy soup, overgrown and ripe tomato pulse. Plus five maximum hit points. So is that like a... Uh, I don't think that was permanent. That might just have been like a... a might be a small temporary boost, but regardless, quest complete. Another 1,500 points. Excellent. I'll just keep uh, searching away here. All right, everybody. We're back uh, to the second area. The, uh, oh, the, yeah, anyways, the second area. <laughs> All right, we've got enough plastic to upgrade our crowbar. Now, upgrading the crowbar should be able to get us more more stuff here for for the uh the machete so that way we can go and hopefully get some more ceramic here all right so oh yeah take that so we're gonna come down this away here and we're gonna go have a look at if we can take out some toilets and stuff now <laughs> Awesome. Wicked. So give them one big shot and then a quick small shot. Oh, here we go. Now, now we can do this. Here we go. Ceramic heaven. Heaven. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we'll be able to upgrade our machete. We'll be able to get more metal now too because I think there's a. Uh, different things we can get that uh, have metal in them that we can now destroy. So that's really, really awesome. Ah, uh, these big tables we can get now. Wicked. That gives us planks. I know we can destroy just about everything in this room. So I'll go through with this and we'll loot some more. All right, so uh, we're out here looting and stuff like that. So uh, one of the things I forgot to... Um, I guess also to notice too when uh, we were playing the game earlier that there was a workbench here. So if you click on these workbenches, you can actually craft while you're away from your your stuff. So we have enough to upgrade our machete. Aha, sweet. So now our machete can do better. So now we need to find some more of this and we can keep going. Um, I think you need to be 27 for the big tires, if I wasn't not mistaken, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll check that out. So, um, this guy here, <laughs> he's got so much rubber in this room. There's like a whole bunch of tires here, and there's another big spindle up there. So, um, plus we also gained a level. We're now level seven. So I'm gonna, just gonna loot a little bit more, and uh, maybe we'll come back and see if we can kill him. Oh, two shots. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely not strong enough yet. <laughs> oh, I was pointing the wrong way, but I think that would have worked. <laughs> I'm going to go try that again. All right, so uh, we got another uh, level up for our level seven. So we'll do, I guess, five more melee damage. I think that would be important. What do we got for crafting here? We unlocked a thermos, monster lure, lock picks that you can't even access yet, a hoe, and outdoorsman. Uh, the thermos. Uh, actually, we're going to hold off on that kind of stuff yet. I want to make sure I get these two machetes and stuff like that upgraded. So, all right, let's get over here and kick some butt because I think I can do it now. Ah. Uh. Yes. Yes, we did it. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. That is awesome. Now we're going to be able to loot all this stuff in here and upgrade some gear. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. All right. So I think we're going to upgrade the machete right away. Um, 
That way we can get to 27. And I think now we can start breaking those tires, those really, really, really big ones. So, yeah, let's go and test that out. All right, so we're going to see if this machete works now. Oh, yes, sir. And we get two, two rubber for these big ones. That's great. That's absolutely awesome. All right, we're going to sit down and, oh, whoa, whoa, we're almost to another level. Um, can I drop this stuff off? Nice. All right, so we get level eight and we get to uh, craft some new stuff here. Nice, multi-talented hoarder. Gain for storing materials. That's not bad either. And here we'd be able to get maybe four. All right, let's try that one. Um, I just want to see what we're going to unlock. The compass. Uh, it was the only thing we unlocked. We can build the other stuff, but that's not my goal right now. I want to upgrade this. Level 28. Beautiful. Now we should be able to wreak some good havoc upon stuff. Uh, we're just going to need some more iron and rubber. And we can upgrade that. But that shouldn't be much of a problem since now we can we can destroy so much now, right? So ah uh, feels so much better. Look at all the stuff we can destroy. Uh get street signs. Easy metal. Nice. Can we destroy this stuff now? No, nope, not yet. Level 35. So we're probably gonna need the baseball bat for that. Same with that. Uh, same with that. Well, at least we can get street signs. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> All right, I'll continue looting and upgrading. All right, so this area is like our first little farming area. Um, this is kind of cool. We'll, uh, we won't get into this right away, but uh, this is a permanent effect. You get plus five uh, experience points. So that's pretty cool, man. You could do like little things like that. Oh, here we got our corn. Oh, is this going to be our last piece of rubber? Hell yeah. All right, so let's uh, upgrade some stuff here. Upgrade gear. Nice. Level 30 machete, ladies and gentlemen. That is totally wicked. Uh, that's no, nothing yet. Uh, we can do this for now. Uh, we don't have steel yet, so that will have to stay the way it is. So I guess that's that. Let's go uh, invent stuff and see what we can do here. There's a hoe, so we may as well craft the hoe. Alright. Um... We'll do the thermos. Wicked. Uh, we'll do some monster lure. Why not? That was a pretty big one. Uh, camo netting. Sure. Uh, what else we got going on here? That was it. Yeah, that was it. What did you need for this? I know at one point I had it. Oh, we didn't have enough any more rubber. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's very cool. Um, I think that's about it, right? There we go. All right, so I think that's gonna be uh, pretty good for this uh, this episode. We did, uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, yeah, we won't do that right away. Uh, so yeah, uh, we did nothing but literally upgrading. So now we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty tough. I'm gonna have to say we're pretty tough, so. In the next episode, I think uh, what's going to happen is we're going to make it. Um, this is in the north. Oh, is there this one right here? Uh, there's a relay right here. Oh, well, we're actually at the relay. Hmm. Well, that doesn't matter. We're going to end the episode here. So we're going to start the first relay here. This uh, for, I guess, um, for next episode. The next episode. Uh, We'll try to do, we'll definitely do this one, but we're going to go up north here. This is where it's cold. Um, we're going to be able to get some hide up in this area, so that's going to really going to be good. We're going to be able to upgrade our backpack and stuff like that. So, 
yeah, I think this is the probably the best bet for us to do. So we'll end the episode here. We'll start the link here. We'll our next episode, and then we'll do the north one too. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.